If you're new to the channel, thanks for picking this video. My name is Keith Covey and I really love to fish. And I also enjoy teaching kids how to find the passion of fishing and enjoy fishing along the way. So let's get to some basics. On part one, we went over your rod, your reel, and getting braid onto your reel. And after you got your braid on your reel and it's assembled, you're ready to tie on your top shot. Now I use P-Line FloroClear 12 pound test, works pretty well, and we're gonna be tying that on and showing you how we get that on there. Now we're also going to tie from our FloroClear to our hook and show you that knot using a San Diego jammer knot. Hope you're um, enjoying this series so far. If you are, please subscribe, follow along for more tips and tricks with advice on the world of fishing. Now, all right, here we are. Let's go ahead and take our two lines opposite directions. We're going to tie the blood knot, a type, a variety, and we're going to make a loop. We're going to take our braid end and we're going to be cut. We're going to go through the circle three times. And we're going to take the floral clear and go in the circle three times. From there, what we want to do is take all four ends, lubricate it real good, and then pull all four of them, let go of the two, and then pull tight. Cinch up both sides so all four sides are as tight as they, you can get them. And that is the blood knot that I use. It's really efficient. <laughs> I live for that stuff. You know, people who fish often have a need for good information. That's why here at Worldwide Fishing Guide, we're dedicated to providing you with free information on charters, guides, resorts, lodges, and products from around the world. Okay, now that we got that set up, uh, we want to go through and take... Uh, one of our hooks that we're going to use, and I'm going to show you the Wacky. The Wacky is a small weighted hook that um, at the top here, and then it kind of sits like that and lets your worm float on top. It's a really effective way to fish, and I'm going to show you this first because this is probably the basic way that all fishermen should start, either drop shot or this new Wacky style. So we want to start here. And what we do is we put it through the eye, we drop it down, this is called the San Diego Jammer Knot. This is, I'm from San Diego, I learned this knot when I was a really young kid fishing out here offshore and it's been a chosen knot ever since. And this is a great beginner knot but it's don't break off that much so I keep using it and you know I've, I've used Palomar knots too, they're pretty nice. but. What you do is pretty simple. What you do is you twist five times, you clinch the top loop, you bring it, well, after you twist five times, you bring it through the bottom hole and then up through the top and then moisten it, it will cinch down very nicely. This is a very strong hook. If it doesn't come out right, just retie it. Um, you, you can tell if they come out right, they, they kind of sit like that before you cut off the, the, the end. They'll sit straight up like that. So let's cut the end off now and we should have a winner here to put some bait on. I want to cut it straight up to the top there. So it comes out like that should sit in the water like about like that. Now you can adjust this as you, as you want it, but it's it's pretty tight on there. So the first bait I'm going to show you is one of the first baits I started catching a lot of fish using this technique. It's just as a, a simple zoom and these things are very inexpensive and they come the pack comes like 50 in a pack. So um caught a lot of 4 or 5 pounders with this in 35 foot water or so. Um what you want to do is put it on the bottom, take your hook, put it right in the middle and bring it straight up to the top of the bait, but don't bring it through the bait. So it's so it's weedless. 
and the action of this is is incredible uh, look at that you could just see the flickering in there so all you want to do is we'll be tossing it tomorrow and catching fish off this hopefully when we fish tomorrow to show you part three but this is what we'll be using this one we'll also be using and it's a uh, California roll by Gary um, and this has a cool paddle tail look at the tail tail on that I mean, that's just phenomenal I want that tail to be straight up so when you put it through put it through to on, in the line right in the middle where they got some clearing put it straight through but not all the way again just have it barely to where you can touch your finger and th this right here throw along the shoreline catch a lot of small two pounders some bigger five pounders will hit it but usually up against the shoreline if you want to catch fish and learn how to fish better go for those shoreline fish right now it's fall it's october so um, they're still moved up a little bit it's still warm the third technique is one that i've been trying lately that that's working for when you see fish boiling um, this seems to be a good pattern because every time i throw this pattern i just started throwing it but um, pretty good you take one of these small little bait fish okay and what you want to do is make it so when the when the hook is like this the fish is standing standing up okay so i'll put it right through the side and again i won't come through all the way i just put it just like that so when it's sinking it's falling with its head down or or, or you know depending on what the hook is doing or the bait does in the water column because this will make it move but it's designed to sit up once it's in the water so it should be pretty good like this so the technique I, I like to use is when I see I have a different pole with just when this set up and when I see fish boiling I could throw this super far uh, with this weight and then I could not don't let it sink just skip it back so where it's hitting and it almost looks like bait fish on top of the water it's pretty deadly I've been getting a lot of fish up there and I've been only been using it for about a month um, I was using a different uh, maker but I went to this flashing flash J split from fish arrow and with the split tail seems to be getting some fish so that's all that that's all the time I have right now for this edition um, so we're gonna be moving on now we're excited to bring you guys along on all the things that we're going to be bringing you for the last 43 years i've been learning how to fish and i'm excited to bring some of this information to you and i hope it helps i'll go ahead and give away one of my free fish you memberships valued at 30 dollars. we hope you're excited about fishing as much as we are we'll see you tomorrow for part three tight lines if you'd like more information on ways to book your next fishing trip go to our website at worldwidefishing.com until then, teach a kid to fish. We'll see you next week.